Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. I want to take a quick second and thank all the channel members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all more than you know. And I want to thank any of you that just stopped by to watch some of the content. I appreciate you more than you know. Hopefully you like the content. If you do and you'd like to see more of it in your stream and help the channel out, if you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon next to it. Really help me out and it'll notify you when we have new content and live streams coming up. Today, we're going to look at the second GEC that has come into my collection and that I have been had the pleasure to carry now for right around three weeks. Um, and I'm going to kind of say right off the bat that it's probably my second favorite GEC out of the ones that I have. And this is the model 861121. It's a clip point Barlow in uh, red and black linen micarta, 440C stainless steel, made by Great Eastern Cutlery up in Titusville, Pennsylvania using the old machinery and the old methods and the old ways of pinning this material together using really, really high-end paper micarta. Um, I love the stainless bolsters with the GEC markings. This blade actually has practical knives, GEC, on the blade. Um, on the back, it says uh, Cyclops Steelworks. And it has the number 861121. Um, I'm assuming that's the pattern that this uh, particular model came from. But again, I'm just learning about some of these traditional slip joints and how they really roll. Let's see how she works against paper. For a slip joint, she is going to be plenty slicey. Whoops, cut her air there. Real thin behind the edge, real nice edge bevel. These knives, at least the GECs that I've experienced, this, my yellow rose, um, my little keychain knife, they have no side to side play, no up and down play. They've got a really well tuned half stop, close, and full open. So I'd give this about a four or five on the pull, about another five for the open, six on the close, five, six on the full close. But it is 440 stainless, so it does get smutsy. You guys will notice me wiping it off a couple of times just because it drives me nuts. But when I carry this knife, I actually carry it in this little goat's leather slip. Just kind of a beater slip, but it fits the knife perfectly. Um, doesn't take up a lot of room in my pocket. And it's just, just a lot of fun to carry. I love this as a slip joint. I think it's very elegant. I think it's well made. It's a USA made knife. Proud to carry it. Stoked to own it. Um, you know, just look forward to continuing kind of down that knife journey. But let's get a quick look at some sizes of this knife up against some Kind of regular size knives or modern folders that you might be familiar with like the benchmade bug out it's going to be a little bit bigger than your benchmade bug out or a little bit smaller than your benchmade bug out i guess i should say and then we'll look at it next to the benchmade mini bug out and it kind of splits the difference just a little bit taller or longer than the benchmade mini bug out a little bit shorter than the benchmade uh, full size bug out Let's look at it next to some traditionals like the Great Eastern Cutlery GEC Yellow Rose, which is also an 86 pattern. It is the exact same size as that. You'll also notice the handle pattern is, is very, very similar. Let's look at it next to the Lion Steel Best Man. going to come in just a little bit longer than the best man 
and the same size as our Great Eastern Cutlery Barlow. So let's look at it next to the Viper Knives Hug. It's going to be a little shorter than the Hug. And the Jack Wolf Feel Good Jack. Just about the same size as the Feel Good Jack in length. A little bit shorter than the Hug. And lastly, before we get the tape measure out, let's look at it next to the Sidebuster Junior. And the Boker Sellage in Germany little bar low. So it's going to be much bigger than the Sellage in Germany Boker bar low, Smoky Mountain Knife Works Edition. And it's going to be bigger than our case Sidebuster Junior. So let's grab one of our promotional tape measures with the Javon sticker on it. And we will see that this knife comes in right under 7 inches overall length with a blade length of 3 inches, a cutting edge of 2 and 3 quarter inches. You've got this sharpening tool here and this nice ricasa. Your handle length comes in at 3 and 3 quarters, 4 inches right to that ricasa so four inches for, to right there three and a half inches in the handle and guys this little knife has a spine thickness back towards 0 0.098 behind the edge up on that sharpening bevel 18 thousandths, 18,500. And then our handle thickness is 0.43. So yeah, just a nice little, I guess you'd call it a multi-use cutter. Um, whether you're cutting fruit, whether you're whittling, whether you're opening a package, um, whatever the case may be, I think the GEC 861121 will get it done. It's 2.20 ounces naked. And then my little ghost slip. Whoops. Yeah, 2.3 ounces. 2.6 ounces in the ghost slip. So guys, that is the GEC, the Great Eastern Cutlery, 861121. It's a Barlow pattern with a clip point blade in 440C stainless steel. I love the look of the knife. I love the feel of the knife. Um, I just really enjoy the Great Eastern Cutlery knives. I enjoy having something that's made in America. I enjoy having something that's kind of a period piece that's kind of done the way they used to be done. And I do see the allure of these now, um, where before I didn't. So that's part of the knife game, guys. That's part of keeping an open mind and trying things that we might not normally try. And most importantly, looking out for the guy or gal to your left, looking out for that guy or gal to your right, looking out for each other, going forward with love in your heart, choosing debate, not hate. Guys, I love you all. Peace.